Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. You from Orkney? This lad's actually oh, subscribed on screen. Hello, thank you for joining me on this lovely summer's evening. I'm in Kirkwall today, in Orkney. This is Kirkwall Harbour. Kirkwall is the capital of Orkney. Now, when I say summer's evening, it may not look it, but it's actually half past ten at night. It gets dark very late here, and when it does get dark, it's only for a few hours, So, um, but they pay a hefty price for this in the winter because it's dark from about half past two. So it's really nice, though, on a summer's evening to be able to come out and enjoy the sun like this. You can see some of the boats in this side of the harbour. Right over there, you may be able to see a cruise ship. I think that might be the Bell Morrill um, calling in. It's been there all day. So that's the big where the big ferries go. They don't dock in this side. I believe that's the longest deep water berthing point in the whole of Scotland. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look. So this is the more modern harbour. The original harbour would have been over there on the other side of the causeway. If we have a look here, here's the smaller harbour where you'll find perhaps the fishing boats, and um, quite importantly, a lifeboat. There's also a little lighthouse there. What we're going to do, we're going to walk into the city centre. I say city centre for two reasons. It has a cathedral, so I think that was the traditional reason something was a city. You might just be able to see the spire of it just there. there. Um, but also, it does say as you drive into Kirkwall, it says welcome to the city of Kirkwall, even though it only has about 7,000, so it's a very, very small city. But um, it's not the smallest city in Britain. I think that, that honour goes to St David's in Wales. But we're going to have a little look around. Um, if you can hear a lot of noise and partying, there is quite a lot of partying going on. There seems to be a lot of hen nights and stag do's taking place. Um, so usually when I'm making videos, I'm not making them at this time of night because normally it's just simply too dark. But seeing as I'm here at this time, I thought I might as well take on a little tour. Those of you who watch my videos may remember about three years ago, last time I came to Orkney, I made a few videos then. I made one in Stromness, which is the second largest town on Orkney, although it's a lot, lot smaller than Kirkwell. If you'd like to see that video, have a look at the link on screen now. You'll be able to watch that one. Also on that visit, I did do some videos in Kirkwell. I'll be able to show you them, or I'll show you where I made the videos, and there'll be a link on screen now. I see all the people dressed up that appear to be going to some form of party. This street is where you'll find most of the hotels. There's the Kirkwall Hotel, probably the biggest and most well known. There's some really bizarre costumes of people <laughs> dressed up along there. We're going to head inland now, so we're going to leave the harbour behind us with the fishing boats. Well, it is a, an old um, landmine here, which you can put money in to, you know, to donate to the um, Shipwreck Marina Society. When my granddad was in the war, he was on a minesweeper. He used to stoke the coal on a minesweeper. So um, I see mines, it does make me think of him. We're gonna head down. It looks a bit noisy, but once we get past um, these couple of bars, it's pretty quiet and down. That's Bridge Street. We're currently on Harbour Street. So as you probably gather, there are various bars and everything in this part of the city. But we're gonna go in, we're gonna look at some of the older part of the city and I'll show you a few things on the way that may interest you. Yeah, there's some more people. Someone dressed up as a, as a, a leopard or a jaguar, just there. So you can hear all the music. So I'm just going to walk quickly past this bit. Um, there's a big party going on in there and in there. So it's um, surprisingly quite a bit of a party town, Kirkwall, which um, you may not expect. I certainly didn't. I wanted to show you this building here for two reasons. One was um, Sir Walter Scott. Scott once dined here. Another thing, hello, is that they used to, when they wanted to, sorry, just, hello, hey! called Henry's Adventures, have a look on my YouTube channel and you see yourself. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah, Henry's Adventures. Henry's Adventures, hi boys, hello, how's it going? I'm on, what's this is Keenan Flair. What's, what's the name of your channel? Henry's Adventures, Henry's Adventures. Henry. Henry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're from Orkney? I am, yeah. It's really nice here. So is he? Nice to meet you. Hello, nice. nice. Is it, well I'm enjoying it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Go to hell. Oh, you're Hello. That's my wife. You do realise I'm recording this bit. Yeah, nice, well, to hi, meet you. Nice. nice to meet you, lads. There's nothing better to do, so we'll so, just cover chat. Alright, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Good to meet you. So yeah. I'm just doing a little tour for you two, so um yeah. Why not? Hi, 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 this lad's actually oh, subscribed on screen. Live on camera, mate. This bloke's just subscribed on screen. Thank you very much. I've got no one more subscriber. Nice really appreciate that. Alright, yeah. See you later. Nice to meet you. Yeah, great. So, um after meeting those those nice friendly lads. 
So Walter Scott actually stayed in this building. But the other thing I wanted to point out was when it came to the Navy, the Navy used to... Um, their way of recruiting people was someone would sit up there in that office. Every now and then they'd drop a coin when they saw someone walking along looking a bit tired and weary and the person would pick up the coin, some people would come out that door and drag them in and they'd get them to join the Navy. So we're going to walk um, further into the town, um, or the city as I should say, and have a look around. So it's got a bit quieter. I thought we might get some um, people but it's, that was quite nice. It was nice to meet some locals and, um, you know... And uh, it was nice to be subscribed to whilst actually making a video. That's never happened before. So we're walking now. One thing you may, this may look like a pedestrianised street. It's not. A car could come down here any time. Um, so I should watch behind me sometime. We saw this in Stromness three years ago. There's not always a pavement, especially in the older town centres. So one idea is just to, like this. Walk along the walk along near the edge. Um, so we come to this this bend here now. Um, there's all sorts of historical things. I'm not going to point all of them out. I just wanted to really just do a little tour of the town. So we get to here, or the city, as I keep should keep saying. We're going to head this way. We're going to go and find the cathedral and the bishop's palace and the earl's palace, which I have already done a video on. But we can have a look at that as we go there. So look at it now. It's suddenly now I've kind of come away from the um, club 1830s area of town. What it seems like anyway. I've never been on one of those holidays, so perhaps I don't really know what I'm saying. But anyway, now I've come away from the party town, it's a lot quieter and um, more how I actually kind of imagined it to be. Um, I've, I've been to Lerwick recently, and that was, was um, well, I wasn't actually there in the evening. Lerwick is the main town on Shetland, which is a similar size, maybe a little bit smaller, and um, that was quite a lot quieter. So now we are on to this is now a pedestrian zone. See this bollard, so I probably don't need to worry too much about cars coming speeding down. So, lots of different shops to see. You know, some are touristy, some are you know aimed at the locals who live here. I believe on the whole of Orkney, the population is about 23,000. So, um, it's you know, some ways it's a lot of people, and other ways it's um, not such a lot of people, but it's somewhere I find it a fascinating place to visit. I don't think I would want to live here. There's no railways, um, but other than that, there, it's, it's really nice here. But I think, um, for me, I like to be, you know, on the mainland. Although, when you come to the Orkney Islands and the Shetland Islands, when you hear people referring to the mainland, they usually are referring to mainland Shetland or mainland Orkney. Another interesting thing I um, heard today when talking to someone was, it's actually incorrect to say on Orkney because Orkney is a county which is a load of Ireland so you should actually always say in Orkney um, and then if you were to go to one of the islands refer to it by the actual island itself rather than you know um, Ork just say on Orkney or the Orkney Islands because that's like saying the Orkney Islands Islands if you know what I mean Orkney itself is plural so Orkney means and the same go to Shetland so as we're coming down to here now, we're coming into the older part of the town. This is where you'll see some of the most historical buildings. You see that road there? That's called Castle Street. Um, we're not going to go down there. Well, there's the local police there. Um, so um, I wonder what they're, they're up to. I don't think there's a... It's a very safe place. There's not a lot of crime goes on here, but no doubt they obviously do have work to do here. In front of us, though, is a rather spectacular cathedral that is Orkney Cathedral so as I said it makes it a city that's a cool little um, camper there. so that yeah it is it's a city in my books anyway because it's got a cathedral and because it does say as you drive in welcome to the city of Orkney so have a look at that that is a spectacular cathedral I've been inside in the past um, and I've chance to on this visit and round the corner we'll see the ruins of the Earl's Palace and the Bishop's Palace now what I thought we'll do We'll go down perhaps um, one of these narrow lanes and um, we'll go and have a look at the very original harbour. That's the old town hall. Yeah, very Scottish looking. Built in 1884, because I just read that off the, the door. So the road sort of swings this way, the town or city continues. Here we are in front of St Magnus Cathedral. As far as I'm aware, I think it's the only cathedral um, on a 
Scottish Island, there might be some on the Western Islands, I'm not sure. This tower in front of us, that is the Bishop's Palace, and um, the Earl's Palace is close by. So what I suggest is, although I'm going to point them out, if you'd like to see more, as in inside these two ruined palaces, click at link on screen now. It's a video I made on my last visit to Orkney three years ago. It'll probably look, um, I was going to say it looked spectacular lit up at night, but I'm probably going to stay up to about one o'clock to see it lit up. I'll let you see the tower, the Bishop's Palace. So these are historic Scotland, so um, you pay to go in. We can go into the courtyard, I've discovered, but we can't actually go in because um, they lock them. So I think during the day, that gate there would be locked. We wouldn't be able to just walk in like we can now. So let's go across. We can't see the Bishop's Palace. And we are quite literally about to go into the garden of the Earl's Palace, into here. And then if you have a look through the trees, that's the Earl's Palace. Let's go over and have a closer look. But as I said, we are not able to go in because you might not look it, but I've already said it before, it is half past 10 at night. So it's close. Have a look at that. It's a rather spectacular building, the Earl's Palace. But to see inside, do watch my video from three years ago. If you want to see what it used to look like, I can show you, because I don't remember these boards being here. That's what it used to all look like. So that is the tower of um, the Bishop's Palace, and this is the Earl's Palace. So those two twin um, conical towers is those two just there. And then you can see, see those two towers there? That is those two towers. And you can see there would have been a building here in front of, um, I believe this is the court, so if the police do find anyone to arrest tonight and they get charged, which is where they'll be taken. Um, so where the court was was sort of this area, or it is, is this area here. As for the Bishop's Palace, we'll go back out here, have a look. So as I said about it getting dark, you can see it's kind of dusky, it's got darker, but it's certainly light enough to be doing this. So here we have a view of how the Bishop's Palace used to look. You can see the cathedral, the rose window in the background, which well, it's hidden behind the tree, but is there. So that's how the bishop's first look. That's the back of that tower. What we're going to do now, though, we'll go back past um, the front of the cathedral. We'll go down one of those lanes and have a look at another side of the town. Then I think I've kind of um, shown you the most sort of important parts. If you continue on up there, there's quite a lot of residential areas. There's also the most northerly distillery in Scotland here um, on Orkney in in Kirkwall, there's no, um, or not to my knowledge, I don't think there's any distilleries on Shetland, which Shetland is a good 100 miles north. So the other day I did the ferry, I got the ferry from Aberdeen, it took about 16 hours to get to Lerwick, but I did have a berth for the night. In fact, um, again, if you want to see what that's like, when I came up here three years ago, I made a video on the ferry. So have a look at Lincoln screen now, you can see what the ferry journey is like. It's, it's a trip I, I do recommend doing to come up here and see these islands because they're very fascinating and um, Shetland and Orkney are very different to each other. Orkney feels a lot more Scottish. Shetland used to be part of um, Norway and it does have quite a Scandinavian feel. There are certain streets you'd see that could have quite easily been in Norway if you said to someone look at that picture where do you think that is? They probably would say oh, I think that's in Norway. Um, and of course they were Norwegian. It was to do with, I think, um, a Norwegian king wanted to marry a Scottish um, princess. I'm not entirely sure, but there was... I think he gave them to Scotland and thought he'd be able to buy them back, but he couldn't. So they've remained Scottish. So, we come back to the Town Hall now. Go down the steps in front of the cathedral. So you can see how sort of quiet it is. Here we have a conventional looking road. I believe also they have um, the shortest a road in Great Britain here. Oh, and another amusing thing. I, I did. I made this joke in um, in um, Stromness a couple of years ago. I'm going to make it again now. If you don't like my videos, here you are. Here's a moment for you. There is actually a place with that name on um, Orkney, hence why they sell those rather amusing souvenirs. So we're going to leave the um, beautiful cathedral behind us now. We're going to go down this little lane. Down here, what's it called? St Magnus Lane. 
fairly obviously, named after the cathedral. So it's really, really not quiet now. It's kind of gone away from where everyone is. Um, like I said, all the bars we saw were very busy and very lively, and like I didn't expect it. But we're going to go down here to towards the old harbour. So, okay, this bit's not that exciting. It's a bit of a, a back street. I don't think you're supposed to. I don't think you could drive a car down here because that's the thing with no pavements. It's not always clear where you can and can't drive a car. There's a shop selling things like ovens and washing machines. So, Siemens, Bosch, you know, if you want to, where you come to an Orkney if you would like to buy an oven. Public toilets there. There's always, it's quite a good Orkney for public toilets. Most places you go, you will find there are public toilets to use, um, which because they obviously get a lot of people traveling around. Here's some, some of the local houses where you're going to turn left up here. Um, or could I? No, I'm going to go straight on actually because there's not really a lot to see. This is um, this building here is quite interesting. It's right in front of us, it's quite a big building for Orkney. It's the Aubrey Orkney Libraries and the Archives. You look behind us, there's the cathedral in distance. It seems most places you go around here, you can see the spire of um, the cathedral it is the, t um, it must be the tallest building on Orkney, maybe a bar, some, possibly some TV masks or radio masks may well be taller, but I'm fairly sure that's the tallest masonry structure. There are no tower blocks or any other tall buildings on Orkney. Maybe one building that might um, go slightly nearer being high, but then that's it, I can't, oh, where is it? Yeah, it's here in front of us. I said we're heading towards the original harbour which has been blocked off by a causeway. This building in front of us here on the other side of the road got two chimneys. They don't go quite anywhere near as being as tall as the spire of the cathedral. But this building with chimneys is the island's power station. I'm not sure if they actually use it. I believe it was an oil power powered fire station. There's a lot of oil in the area. Um, doesn't appear that there's any kind of vapour or smoke coming out of the chimneys. So to me that would suggest it's possibly no longer in use. There's quite a lot of wind turbines around. Shetland also has a power station, but it's quite interesting to see a rather historic looking power station. I'm tempted to go up to the windows and try and look in, but I don't think it would work on camera to show you, but um, it would be a thermal power station, so a steam power station. So, you know, they burn oil to drive the turbines to make steam um, they burn oil to make steam to drive turbines to make electricity. It does say just there by the door in blue, Kirkwall Power Station. And I believe it's the only power station they have on, on Orkney. When you get to um, Lerbeck, if you go up to Shetland, you'll see there's a similar, older, smaller power station like this. And then next door, there's a bigger, sort of more, a uh, big box of a power station, which is um, oil fired. But the water, Come from just behind there. We'll get onto that in a minute. We're going to walk up here, up towards Lidl. We're not going to Lidl. It's also Tesco's up here, so you kind of get the gist of the area of town we're going to. So really, Orkney and well, Kirkwall. It's like a basically like a mini Scotland. It has everything you'd expect. I even saw a Benty bus earlier. Look that way. I can just see the top of the Bishop's Palace and of course the cathedral. It's yeah, it's a bit like a just a scaled down Scotland, apart from there's no railways. If there was ever to, there have been railways in the past. There were various narrow gauge railways during the war. I think if there was any serious railway, like intercity railway, wouldn't be in city, it'd be in town railway, would be from here to Stromness, where, as I've mentioned a couple of times already, I made a video three years ago. There could have been a railway. It's about, what, 10, 15 miles away? That would probably be the only serious um, place you could really have a railway between those two towns. You do get, I came, so talking, going back to my um, burn, journey on the ferries, I went from Aberdeen to, um, to Lerwick. I spent a day in Lerwick looking around. Last night I got a ferry from Lerwick to Kirkwall. That took about eight hours. So I had dinner on board the ferry, got, stayed here the night. And then today I've had a look all round all around um, Orkney. I went to Scarabray. I didn't make a video, it was too too windy. Um, and then tomorrow I'll go over to Stromness and get the ferry to Scrabster, which is basically Furzo, and then travel south down to um, Inverness and catch a train. 
south. Anyway, here is the harbour. You can just see, you may just be able to see a ship there in the distance. There is a causeway. I'm not going to go all the way around there now, but there is a causeway. And um, this would have been the original, the sea would have come right in here, but it is now effectively the old harbour. Boats don't really come in here anymore, but see what I mean about the power station. The power station has a plentiful supply of water. When we look up over there, you can see the hill, up on the hill, the camera's not picking them out, but there are some various TV masts and everything for, you know, for television, for BBC Radio Orkney, which I believe exists. Over there's the modern Tesco's. You've got Tesco's, Co-op and Lidl. So if you live in Orkney, it's where you want to go do your shopping. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of Kirkwell. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And um, from the original harbour in Kirkwell, good night.